Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, wow, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. That way this, I'll know if this resonates. The cards are like pulling me in today. Okay, so Cancer, let's get into this because you've got the Ten of Chalices, you've got the Chariot, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Wow. Somebody wants to invest time in you. You could have more than one, but it could just be a choice to move this love forward or the possibility because somebody wants to commit to you with the Ten of Pentacles here. They're going to invest time. This could be somebody at a distance. They're going to want to move forward pretty quickly. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Who is this person? Knave of Swords. The Tower. Ooh, somebody's been watching you, Cancer. This is going to come as a surprise. You may know this individual, Seven of Swords, but they haven't been saying anything. This person could be from the past. Can they also be new? Okay, so some of you past, some of you new. Why the Seven of Swords? Why haven't they spoken up? <laughs> name of chalices because they know they have to apologize for something that they did if this was a past person now if this is a new person it could be that they're younger cancer so they're hesitant tell me about the chariot knight of wands <laughs> this could be a fire sign aries leo sag they're very passionate i feel like they're very good looking Very dominant, I just heard. Very masculine energy. Doesn't matter if it's a male or female. The world card. Yeah, definitely could be somebody at a distance from you. Judgment. There's reunion, right? Is this person um, a player? Why are you hesitating? Oh, if they're old, are they a player? Clarify. They wanted me to split it up here. Eight of Pentacles. Well, if they're from the past, they want to work on this. So if they had player tendencies in the past, they could be working on that. <laughs> Two of Wands. Yeah, they're pretty optimistic about it. Now, what about if they're new? Eight of Swords. They're all up in their head about you. Four of Swords. Yeah, I don't think this person is a player if they're new. Uh-uh. Because they're all up in their head. They're trying to figure out exactly what these feelings are. And they could be all up in their head because of this age gap, if there is an age gap here. Or they could be something different, like, I don't know, different religions, but I'm getting more of an age thing. And I feel like they care more about what you think than what they think, because it doesn't bother them, but they care about what you think. Tell me about the seven of, what is this? Oh, this is the seven of chalices. I thought it was the seven of pentacles. So you have options. You have more than two people. The Hierophants. 
your determination, okay, is going to be based on who's going to commit. One of these people may be a Taurus. Taurus has been coming up in your readings. Oh, again, we have like religious factors. Four of Pentacles. There's something that you need to let go of in order to move forward here. It could be a past person. It could be a way of thinking, a traditional way of thinking, i.e., whether this be religion or Ace of Chalices or um, age. So you, yeah, the Hermit energy. You're going to be doing some tinking cancer with the lovers in the Hermit. You're like, what do I do? It could be the past and the present. That could be it too. And there even could be more than two people. This is, you know, only really a 10 minute reading. So with the seven of chalices, I'm feeling there's, you got a lot of options, put it that way. Tell me about the hermit here and the lovers. King of chalices. So there's a water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, this is you. Okay. This is you ruminating on what to do, what to do, because there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire. You know, uh, you may not be telling everybody about each other, okay, keeping this to yourself, but you will be listening to your intuition, Cancer, and I do feel that your decision is going to be based on your intuition. Ten of chalices. What emotionally fulfills you, right? With the ten of chalices here. What is this person's um, intent here with the knave of chalices? Six of chalices. They want that <laughs> innocence of love. Six of chalices, they see and feel you as a soulmate. And this is what's got them all up in their head as well. Not only this age thing or religious thing, whatever the difference may be, they just feel this, this very deep connection with you. And they want to share in this. They're wanting you to feel it so... And they want to do something with this energy. That's what I'm feeling. This six of chalices, this soulmate energy. It's like, I don't, yeah. You may not see this at first. It may be your twin with the moon card. Sometimes twins can have age difference, right? So this may be. And they feel it. Clarify the moon. Queen of Swords. That's the truth that you have to get to, Cancer, when you go within in this hermit mode, utilizing your intuition. You need to cut, cut away to get to the truth, cut away belief systems I'm getting, which is interesting the north node the north node is in gemini and gemini is in your 12th house of spirituality of the dream space mm. six of swords you've got to move on from somebody some you've got to move on from some of these people and commit so what is your advice for this this option with the age difference or religious difference, the king of swords. Seek the truth within this connection. You have to analyze it. You have to go in with curiosity, I'm feeling, with the king of swords, okay? Leave no stone unturned, they just said. Leave no stone unturned. What if it's a past person? Knight of Chalices, they're saying open up your heart. But, wait a minute, clarify the knight. Yeah, you're going to need strength. 
because they still feel this doubt within you that they're a player, they're not a player, and they're coming up as a um, as a knight too, and knights are in and out. But this is why you have strength here. They do say open your heart to this person, so they could reform, I guess, from their player ways. That's possible, but you need to look at if it's both that you're dealing with because you do have options here. If it's both, you've got to seek the truth within this connection because what if it is your twin cancer? What if it is your twin and you don't give it a chance and you, you just don't know? Because sometimes you're not going to know right away, right? Wow, cancer. I do feel there's, they just said deep healing, which is interesting. And I feel like it's more healing of your belief systems. What's in your ninth house? Pisces is in your ninth house. Which is interesting because your north node is in the Pisces house. And Pisces is in your ninth house. Of beliefs, of religious beliefs, of travel. Of higher education, of learning. All right, so... Okay, all across the board, you need to be optimistic, okay? You need to send out the message to the universe what it is you're seeking uh, within a love relationship, okay? You need to be honest with yourself, with the king and queen of sh swords showing up, and you really need to shine a light upon the shadow aspects of the self with this hermit energy to learn as much as you can about yourself from past relationships don't look at what they do it's irrelevant it's your responses to what happens within the relationship that is important that's where you extract the wisdom from okay because you can only change you you can't change the other all right so let's get you an oracle card all right Okay, I'm feeling, because they said most important is the person from the past, which means healing from that relationship. What, what did you learn the first time around within that relationship? You have to understand that. So if you're going to go back into the relationship, you don't want to repeat that cycle. You need to learn the lesson, let go, so that you don't repeat it. Oh my God. Hang on one minute. It just flew away. Hang on. Sorry about that. You have counsel. Seek out the counsel of those whose lives and creative work you most admire. I find that very interesting. So do that and don't don't analyze it because I feel like something within this counsel is going to help you. Even though it seems like it's unrelated, sometimes it triggers something and leads you on a path of self-discovery, right? Could be the littlest thing. So, Cancer, I hope this resonates. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already have it, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees on a daily basis. You have a good one. And I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.